Welcome to this week's Joe Cooks. I've been buying a pan, new pan. Check that one out. Twenty-two inch, uh, twenty-two centimeter stock pot from Asda. Because this week I thought we'd have a go at making a scouse, classic hot pot style dish from Liverpool, from the docks. They're saying that you can go two ways with this. You can either go down the beef route or the lamb route. We're we'll going down the lamb route. I think the lamb one's the more traditional one. Being Liverpool's right in between the Lake District and the North Wales. I think lamb would have been more abundant than beef at the time and that. But hey, I'm just speculating. Tell us in the comments if I'm wrong. But really simple for this one. Really simple. It's slow cooked. A few ingredients. And yeah, we'll have a quick run through them and we'll get cracking. For this one... If you're using beef or lamb, doesn't matter. The, the, the basics are the same. We're using about 500 grams of potatoes, which I've peeled. 500 grams of carrots, which I've peeled. I'm using the chunky ones. It's a good chance to get rid of them and that, because we're going to make nice big lumps and that. A couple of onions. And because I'm going down the Welshie side of it, and I'm going to be using lamb instead of beef. You can use beef if you want, that's fine. You can chuck a turnip in if you want. It's just a stew at the end of the day, but it's a very, very nice stew. So I'll be using this 350 grams of diced casserole lamb from Iceland. Three bags for a tenner, not too bad, not too bad. I'm going to chuck a couple of leeks in. We're using a bit of a plain flour, a squirt of Liam Perrins, some thyme, a couple of stock cubes, salt and pepper, Few sprays of fire light, and I'm going to boil a kettle because we'll be using all of it. We'll be using all of it, and that's it. So yeah, let's get cracking. First off, we're just going to prepare with vegetables. I like to keep everything chunky on this one. Chunkier the better. It takes a little while to cook, nice and slow, and that. So if you've got now to do during the day and that, you can just uh, whack it on and just let it do its stuff. Do its stuff. I know there's like a Welsh cowl, is it? It's very similar to this. They usually, like, I think they cook it for a couple of hours and they let it cool down, then they warm it up again because uh, everyone knows it's better reheated. Like I say, nice and chunky. Look at that. The like half potatoes and that. You can go wild with a veg, put as much as you want in, you know. And we'll just carry on the, the, the caper with the carrots and that. The bigger, the better. Get them all in. Can you remember the name? I'm going to say the olden days. It was only like when I was a young man. When people used to make massive vegetables and that. Like giant things. Onions the size of your heads and leeks the size of your legs. Absolutely crazy. It was great, wasn't it? It was great. Right, get rid of them. Get rid of that. Same with the onions. We'll just chop them up. Basically, we're just going to chuck everything in a pan and let it work its magic. This is when the ingredients properly speak for themselves, you know. They don't have to be expensive and that. I mean, I bet this was cheap as chips in the day. It just seems that everything nowadays, everything that was cheap them, them days, is now seriously expensive and that. Right, a couple of leaks and that. You can put a turnip in and that if you want, like I said before and that, put what you want in. I mean, different stews around the country have different things in, but they usually stick around this root winter veg, carry on and that. It's lush, man, it's lush. So right, that's our veg done. I'm going to bring the meat in quickly. And I'm going to put a spoon, just plain flour on it. I'm just going to chuck it on. I'll do. Get rid of that. I'm going to stick the lid on the tub and I'm just going to give it a good shake. Just cover the lamb in the, in the flour and that. So we're going to be frying it up for a couple of minutes and that. So right. That's that. The only bit of prep left now is to make your stock. A couple of stock cubes. Oh, I'm getting all the um, fingers and thumbs here and that. So a couple of stock cubes in here. I'm using vegetable ones. If you're using beef, use just oxo cubes or whatever. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter, you know. But we'll get that, we'll get that in. We'll mix this up. We'll sit it to one side. 
and we'll use this and the remaining kettle water a bit later on. Right, I'm all set up by the cooker now. If you hear any strange noises in the background, window cleaner outside thinking he's Barry Manilow, but I don't think he's going to be hitting any copyright strikes, so hopefully I'll get away with it. Right, I've sprayed the pan with a few sprays of fry light. It's on quite high, and I've warmed it up. I'm going to go in with my meat, the one that was shook in the flour. I'm just going to brown it up for about a minute. I've set a plate up beside this pan with a wooden spoon in that. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pile everything in the pan. And we're just going to bring it to a boil, simmer it for a bit. Then um, that's, that's it. Turn it down and let it do its magic. Let it do its magic. It takes ages. It takes ages. So I like to keep this next to the pan every time I come in the kitchen and that I'll just give it a little stir in that a little stir but we're going to go with some salt and pepper in that so I don't forget a bit of salt rush man can you hear it sizzling in that good splash of Liam Perrins because everyone knows it always tastes better with Liam Perrins in it Oh, listen to that man, listen to that new pan sound. Smells worse like that. Then we're just going to pile in the vegetables. Get them in. Get them in. And we're going to go in with the stock. I hope you can still hear us because it's quite loud today, like quite loud. So we're going with stock, that will quieten everything down a bit. There we go, we're gonna, we're gonna hear ourselves think again now. And I'm just gonna cover it with the remaining water in the kettle. Just so it's covered. That's lush that man, doesn't that look lush? Get rid of the kettle there. Just going to give it a little stir around. I'm going to put a handful of thyme in, just a small handful. You can use fresh thyme if you want, like, but I couldn't get any, so this will have to do. But even this probably didn't go in in the thyme, it was probably just salt and pepper and the veg and the meat. And that was your whack, and I just slow cooked it until they. Um, Till everyone was finished work basically. But right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the lid on, bring it back to a boil, simmer it hard for about 15 minutes, then turn it right down. Right, it's been about 10-15 minutes now, it's been boiling quite hard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn me hob down now to number one, and this is where the patience game starts. So Every time I come into the kitchen, I've got my plate set up and my spoon on. I'll just give it a nice little stir in that. Got plenty of housework to be getting on with in that. So, yeah, I'll see you in about three, four hours when we've got our lovely scouse. Probably serve mine with a bit of air, pickled cabbage in that. Might as well make it posh. You know what I mean? Posh with a bit of pickled cabbage. Get in. But right, and a bit of chunky bread maybe. I might pop the littles and buy a French stick. Right, it's been about four hours for me. Flash of a camera for use. I've been back in two every couple of minutes to have a look, uh, every 20 minutes or so, to give it a stir in that. And look at this, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Right, I'm gonna set a plate up. We'll serve some out. We'll have a taste and we'll bring this one in because I'm starving, absolutely starving. Get some of this out. Whoa, look at that, look at that. Get a couple of potatoes in that. Look at that, good big potatoes, looks like a full meal man, full meal, look at that, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, tell us in the comments, what broths or soups you make regional to yourselves and that. I know not everyone's in the UK. But yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it gives you a bit of inspiration to get in the kitchen and sort some out for yourself and that. Cook anything, cook anything, just get in there and, and try it man, just try it. So, I'm going to bring that over. And I'm just going to be serving mine with a little bit of pickled cabbage. 
and a wedge of bread. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you on next week's video. Look at that, man. Look at that. Can't wait to have a taste. Right, it's all down to the taste. Look at that. Beautiful soft carrots. Just creamy potatoes. Absolutely fantastic. If you like it, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff and that. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Right, see you next week. Have a nice week.